Hello guys, this is second video tutorial about difference uh, between animator and trigger motion plugin for animation in the Photoshop. Let's check in this video will animate via standard tools in the Photoshop. Uh, the second uh, we will animate the animator and other cases we will animate um, with figure motion plugin. Okay, let's start. Uh, I have five same elements. Uh, first, we need, of course, create a video timeline. The Photoshop uh, by default always create five second duration with uh, 30 frame rate per second. I prefer this frame rate. I like it because the animation will be very smooth. Uh, okay, let's animate the first element via standard uh, Photoshop tools. Let's uh, set the keyframe. Uh, after that, set the start position. We have first animation. After that, set the keyframe, the static position and after transform a little bit down and this is standard animation in the Photoshop via smart object and as you can see the Photoshop have only linear animation without any acceleration or deceleration any easy function uh, only linear animation. It's very poor uh, if you want to create some um, complicated or complex animation for your logo reveal or maybe lower source of titles or any web banners. Okay, we animated the first animat uh, element, uh, go to the second and let's uh, animate with animator uh, plugin cool in this case i will use uh, move easy from top to the bottom of the document okay let's select the second element go to move easy and click uh, on intro button and click down let's see Cool, we created the beginning of my animation of this element. Okay, let's select my basic second element and create outro. It's the same direction down. Okay, I have my intro, outro, and of course I need to set my static. Uh, okay. And I have intro, static, and outro. Cool. It's more beauty and more realistic animation created by the animated plugin. Let's play the whole animation. Cool. Okay, uh, let's uh, group it. And hide this group uh, for a while. And let's go to the big motion panel and create uh, via basic mode. All the same, but in this case, I can add some scale. Or rotation of my elements. Let's check out how it works. I set, for example, duration 30 frames. I can input any number of the frames to my future animation. Let's see um, what type of easy function I want to use. In out queen, for example, a link x in equal coordinates, and in the live preview tab. Let's see how it will 
looks like from the top to the bottom. Okay, select the third element, click at intro. Cool, V in move and scale mode. Okay, let's start position, maybe at some scale. Okay, click intro on the keyboard and in V in rotate mode. If you want to add some rotation, okay, it's not problem, but if you don't need to set any angle, just skip and click intro. Let's add some rotation. Cool. Maybe like here. And the video motion will create frames and build pathway of our animation. We need to wait a little bit while it calculates each frame and build also scaling, rotation and movement. Okay, we built our intro animation. Cool. If you can see, we don't have now uh, a fade in effect. Of course, you can add through this, but you can add easy like keyframes, add some position. Okay. Cool. We have intro animation. Let's create outro for this select my basic element you can again uh, select any easy function and look and try how it will looks like on your uh, document in my case i want to use for example 20 frames and in this case i want to use fade in frames uh, 10 frames. Okay, click intro. Again, move and scale mode. And in this step, I don't uh, add some rotation for my element. And I want to skip it and just click intro on your keyboard. Again, we need a wait a little bit. And after that, we will go to create animation in advanced mode with powerful tool. Okay, we have outro animation, all the same. Drag your track, set your visible static. Let's play all animation. It's very easy to understand how it works and how we can create the animation. Cool. Let's group it and hide for a while. Go to video motion and let's create animation in advanced mode. Advanced mode works only with smart object and before you uh, need to uh, be sure that you will have smart object or you must convert any layer to the smart object. Cool. As you know, uh, the main advantage of the figure motion panel is that you have a lot of controllers for your animation. You can set any position for start or end of your animation. Okay. Select your smart object, click, uh, oops, sorry, let's select some for easy function. Cool, I like it. And for example, I want to maybe from here 
to the center of my column. Column set duration, for example, with 27 frames. Click intro keys. As you can see, I don't have any notification about scale, move, or rotation mode. This mode includes all transform elements. You just scale, rotation, just set, for example, at this point, click enter on your keyboard and click a motion. Again, build pathway, build rotation, and build scale for your element. And as you can see, we don't have additional layer for this element. Let's see. Cool. Let's create outer animation. Let's start from here. Let's play with easy function. Maybe from here and to bottom corner of this column. Cool. Let's create 30 frames, create outer keys and all the same. Rotation, click enter on your keyboard and click a motion with Photoshop calculate each frame and path and build pathway the animation for your object. Cool. And last. Cool. Let's see. Boom. Okay. Um, Go to the next element, just hide it. A awesome feature of the advanced mode is that you can create unlimited animation for one element to one layer. And you don't need to create any additional layers to control your animation. Let's see how it works. So just set uh, 15 frames. Just select uh, easy function and I will show you how it works. Okay, this is my final position. I want to start my animation from the top of this column. All the same, create intro keys. Just set. First point. Let big motion build animation. Okay, we have the start animation. Cool. Uh, and for example, I want to add some offset animation. Let's set 10 frames, click outer keys, and offset a little bit upper. For example, click enter on your keyboard. Okay, my start animation offset and again I want to continue my animation of this element. No problem. Select your element, just click outro keys again and click on your documents and set point. Maybe for example I want to increase my scale like this. Set again 10, 10 frames. You can set any duration and click enter on your keyboard. Okay, let's check it. My first animation, second, and third. And finally, I want to 
create end of my animation to the top of this column. No problem. Just set again 20 frames, for example, and click again. Auto keys, just set, scale down, and add some rotation, for example. Photoshop set uh, keyframes to tracks, build the animation, build the pathway of your element, and uh, if you don't see my video about live preview, the very powerful tool live preview tab, uh, the Photoshop will build animation exactly pathway that you see on the live preview tab very powerful feature in the big motion okay let's see my animation cool as you can see i don't have a uh, fading of my elements you can set uh, manually with keyframes the set opacity 100% let's do it to zero it will be my start position and in the end let's set the keyframe and let reduce to zero okay I have four blocks of animation for my elements create amazing and beauty animation with the bigger motion panel or animator panel as you want uh, these plugins have a lot of advantage and in my uh, opinion these two best plugins uh, for animation in the Photoshop okay I think this video will be very very helpful to decide for you uh, which plugin best to fit uh, for you for your design project for your animation and I think uh, it will be very useful to showcase best showcase of your design project create a awesome presentation logo reveals titles and so forth Okay, thanks for watching and enjoy!